Morning everybody, I'm at the British Shooting Show, this fantastic game ball, uh, I can only call it an arena ball, it's that full it's, been, it's been a lot of work, but I it's heard been a lot well, about it on the way in here, you know, it's, you been, well, it's been well received, so. Unbelievable, yeah, yeah really, fantastic. Really um, happy with it. Yeah, but one of the reasons uh, I've called in this morning was to see Phil before he went to America, yep. just to thank him for those cars that you made up for me for, for France. You're more than welcome. I hope to see him in production <laughs> one uh, one day in the future anyway. Yeah, yeah, he'll soon be there. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, if, you, if, you, if you get a chance to watch the film, you'll see three or four of the best birds you'll ever see killed and, you know, killed instantly. Yeah. And they were talking, they were sort of 75, between 75 and 85 yards. So that's a testament yeah. to the product. Yeah. You know, so yeah. absolutely fantastic. I've only heard people talking about it. Yeah, good lad. Yeah. Phil is very helpful, you know, he's, he's in the laboratory every day of the week at, uh, at Game Board anyway and uh, one thing I'd like to say thanks very much for uh, you know for helping us out with the, sure. with, the with, with the fibre ones especially. Sure well there's, there's big big things to come with fibre in the future uh, we've got a good product range with black gold as you know but we always want to better ourselves and take the job forward so all I would say is watch this space we're not there yet can't give you too much information but we will we're looking to change what we do in shooting. What about plastic? We, you know, we, we do have as little ups and downs and arguments about plastic. There's still a big Look, following for plastic out there. But there's, there's, there's no doubt that plastic outperforms fibre, but yeah. there's no use for single-use plastics in the field. Uh, for clay shooting, you can potentially pick them up. You're shooting the same target in the same area. Yeah. But for game shooting, I personally use fibre, and I don't see why anyone would use plastic. Fibre loads are good now. I did, I did say this on uh, 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 the, the latest interview that uh, the writing's on the wall for plastic. It's it's out and that's it. You know, I didn't realise the uh, the significant the significance of it until I did a, a little bit of uh, a plastic debate, plastic yeah. versus fibre debate, which caused a complete uproar. So I did sure. take it off off back of this film that I'd done. The point I was trying to make and the debate that I had was, there's nothing wrong with the fibres, and there isn't. As you all know, most of the shooting I do uh, in Yorkshire, it's all fibre wad. Sure. And I, you know, I've killed some tremendous bird with fibre wads. The Black Goat 4, for instance, is, a, yeah. is one of my favourites. It's, it's an instantaneous killer. It's one of the, it's one of the few caches that I shoot that's off the shelf. That I, can, that I can say that is the sure. hardest hitting. And the, the, the main thing with that five, the shelf. Phil will go more into it, but it's the powders we use. Yeah. Single base propellant powder has its limitations. You, you want to make high performance game cartridges and heavy loads, you need double base propellant. And Game Ball's the only business in Europe to be using double base propellant powder. Yeah. Well, one thing, I've, one thing I, I mean, I've been with Game Ball a long time now. And one thing I found out you're not trying to experiment, and I, I, I thank you for that, Paul. You know, you are definitely pioneers in, yeah. in new products. Without a shadow of a doubt. Thank, proud thanks very much, Phil.